Jeff Bospisil, the 10 Minute Treasurer, with practical advice for improving your church's financial future. In this one, I want to talk about is it commuting or business miles? Um, the, the rule is commuting miles are not reimbursable. Business, unless you want to be taxed on them, business miles are reimbursable. So that is the rule. Um, so. Uh, but the definition is what exactly is commuting miles? What exactly is business miles? And especially for a pastor, sometimes this can get a little bit um, confusing. So I'm going to walk through that. So I want to point you to publication 463. And this is what the IRS says about commuting. It says you can't deduct the cost of taking a bus, trolley, subway, or taxi, or of driving a car between your home and your main or regular place of work. So the that is the definition of commuting, by the way, going from your home to your main or regular place of work. Um, these costs are personal commuting expenses. You can't deduct commuting expenses no matter how far your home is from your regular place of work. You can't deduct commuting expenses even if you work during the commuting trip. So they are really trying to, this is one of the very few areas where the IRS wants to make sure that the rule is very crystal clear. So normally they make it a little bit gray just to make things fun for them. Anyway. Okay, a number of years ago, I created this chart to try to help uh, new clergy, new pastors understand the, the commuting versus uh, reimbursable business miles. And so that's what I would just want to share with you right now. So imagine, you know, your home uh, here, I got it labeled Parsonage, but it could be your own home. Uh, what about if you go from your Parsonage to your church? Uh, that is commuting miles, so it's not reimbursable. It's not business miles because you're going from your home to your regular place of work. And some of our pastors serve multiple churches. And again, that is commuting. That is another regular place of work when you go right from your home to the church. And But it is reimbursable if you go from church to church. And I want to bring this up as an example is... Um, what does it look like on a Sunday morning? The best example I have is we have churches, Presho, Kennebec, and Reliance. And if you look on a map, Presho is, uh, it's on I-90, and then 15 miles down the road is Kennebec, and then another 15 miles down the road is Reliance. And Presho is also where the parsonage is. But on a Sunday morning, the very first service is at Reliance. So if the pastor goes right from the parsonage, to Reliance, guess what? They went from home to a regular place of work. So that would not be, that 30 miles would not be, um, would not be reimbursable. That is a commute. But then their mileage from then Reliance to Kennebec and from Kennebec to Presho, that all is reimbursable. So only half your miles would end up being reimbursable that way. Um, which maybe that's no big deal for you, but really, uh, what I've had, what most pastors have done is they will keep the bulletins in the Presho church. So they'll go to the church in Presho, pick up the bulletins. So that part wasn't reimbursable because, but then when they go from Presho, the 30 miles down the road to Reliance, that is reimbursable because they're going from church A to church C in this case, you know, and then they're working their way back. So then that 60 miles of reimbursable mileage versus 30. Anyway, just a little note. What about hospital visits? You know, if it's a regular, if it's a regular thing. So let's just say every Thursday you do hospital visits. You know, or maybe it's nursing home visits. You know, if it's that regular thing, then that ends up becoming a regular place of work. You know, it, that's that's where you work on Thursday mornings or whatever it is. Uh, but if it's but if it's, let's just say it's a, a call in the middle of the night and you have to go, and especially, you know, if the hospital is not in your town, then that makes it even a bigger thing. Uh, then, then that becomes reimbursable. So if it's not part of that regular one, then it's reimbursable. But if it is your regular routine, Thursday mornings, I go ahead and do my hospital visits, then that is a commuting miles. But then whenever you go from the church to the hospital, that is reimbursable. What about when you're visiting uh, 
somebody's home, you know, whether it's a care visit or it's uh, visiting a new guest that you had for your church. What about that? Well, that is likely not your regular place of work. Um, probably there's issues there if you're going to see a parishioner every whatever Saturday morning. Uh, that's probably issues. So chances are that is that is reimbursable. So and then uh, the last one is what about those workshops or meetings that you're having to travel to? Um, those are reimbursable. That's not your regular place of work. So if you're having to travel, you know, to, let's just say a training in a different town, then that is reimbursable, all that, even though you're going right from your home to your work, but that's not a, a regular place of work. It's not your main place of work. So that's the general rule. Hopefully that helps you. Um, again, it just, it just helps show in a picture form what the IRS says. Uh, one thing to do, and I'm going to link to this, I, I keep a, you should keep a mileage log for your reimbursable um, miles. And I, I do have a spreadsheet. I have one that will actually do the math for you. It's just a spreadsheet, but then I have one where you can just print it out and keep it on a clipboard in your car and fill it out as you go. Or, you know, you could, uh, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to turn in my day planner or something like that into the treasure because there might be other personal things in there. So this might be a way to do it. And you should put the date, um, the mileage. I put the odometer here, but you can just put the mileage too. And the reason, you don't necessarily have to put the person's name because sometimes it's it's sensitive. You know, it's maybe it's a private matter. You're visiting somebody about their marriage or something. So you could put, you know, January 17th, um, um, marriage counseling and eight miles or something like that you know and that's all i have this is actually a pretty short and sweet one so again this is a ministry of the finance office as well as the dakotas united methodist foundation and you can find us at www.dakotasumc.org or dakotasumf.org and again we're all about jesus mission and connection where we want to be connected like a family in this great mission of uh, making disciples of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. All right, till next time.